Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. For you to successfully protect a system, network or identity, you need to know how they function. In this video, I will take you through the 5 fundamental skills you need to get into cybersecurity and do well in it. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like and share this video. Let's get started. Skill number 1 is to learn Linux and virtual machines. You need to have hands-on experience on various operating systems, especially Linux, but also Windows and Mac OS. For Linux, you can focus on Debian-derived distro named Kali or other distros of your choice like Ubuntu and many more. Installing Kali Linux on your lab computer and using it in a controlled environment is a good step into your cybersecurity journey. You can simply install a hypervisor like VirtualBox, VMware Workstation, EXSI, or Hyper-V on your host device like MacBook, PC, or server, and then install a VM with a guest operating system like Kali on top of the hypervisor. You can install as many VMs as your host can support. Run different tests on the VMs and try to explore various settings on each system. You should also learn the command line interface like Bash. Many of the valuable tools you need don't have graphical user interface to point and click. So learning the command line provides you much flexibility and lets you achieve more for less. It lets you use scripting and automation to perform repetitive tasks that will normally require a lot of time to complete. Learning the command line and automating your workflow would make you a valuable resource. You also need to learn Microsoft Windows and its default native shell called PowerShell. At the end, you need to be vast in all popular operating systems. Scale number two is computer networking. This is a core aspect of IT and cybersecurity. A strong foundation in networking will make you stand out in managing and troubleshooting incidents. Two conceptual models govern communication function in networking the TCP IP and OSI. The models group all networking and communication protocols into different layers. In general, the models provide a standard for different computer systems to be able to communicate with each other. Each layer handles a specific job and communicates with the layer above and below itself. Knowing what happens at each layer makes you more efficient in diagnosing incidents. Skill number three is cloud security. To start with, can you secure a system you are not familiar with? I guess your answer is no. You need to learn how cloud infrastructure and platform services function. I would recommend you start your public cloud journey with AWS or Azure because they have the largest market share at the moment and then learn GCP. Gartner has consistently ranked AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google's GCP as leaders in their magic quadrants for public cloud infrastructure and platform services. There is a huge demand for professionals who have AWS, Azure, or GCP skills. Cloud adoption is accelerating as more organizations move their workload to public cloud. So, demand for professionals in this field will continue to grow. Scale number four is Identity and Access Management, IAM. Identity is very important in technology world, especially given that identity is the new security perimeter when it comes to cloud. Microsoft Active Directory is the most popular enterprise solution for identity. You need to learn Microsoft AD and also learn a similar solution used in the cloud, which is Azure AD or Entra ID. You don't have to be an expert on AD, but you at least need to understand how it works. For example, you need to know the difference between an AD tree and AD forest. That way, you will have an understanding as to how to secure the objects connected to an AD domain. Scale number five is computer programming. Not all cybersecurity professionals possess coding skills, but having zero coding skills will limit your growth and opportunities. You don't have to be an expert in programming. You don't have to be able to develop a full-scale application, but you need to understand basic coding concepts and write simple codes. 
you'll be working with different tools and you should be able to understand the scripts you use for your work. Understanding how to approach a problem from a programmatic standpoint is extremely useful in cybersecurity. I recommend starting out with Python because the syntax is easy to learn and it's quite popular in cybersecurity field. If you are going to focus on application security in the future, learning JavaScript or PHP will help you defend against web application attacks such as cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery. That's it for now. I hope you found it informative. If you are interested in learning more about the reasons some people find it difficult to secure their first cybersecurity job, watch this next video.